Hey guys, Jake here, and today I want to talk about something that has interested me for a long time, and that is Forza Motorsport 4 on a newer platform. Most people like me who play Forza know that Forza Motorsport 4 is still pretty much the best game in the series. However, it was an Xbox 360 exclusive. Obviously, it didn't release on PS3 or PC or any other platforms, so you were stuck to 360 if you wanted to play it. And the Xbox One now is actually backwards compatible with Xbox 360 games, but most Forza games, including Forza Motorsport 4, are nowhere to be found. The only one you could play is Forza Horizon 1, and all the others just aren't there, and nor is Project Gotham Racing. This is largely due to licensing issues, actually, and I hate saying that term over and over again, but yes, licensing does suck. The closest thing we're going to get to an official statement on this is that Microsoft, when the Xbox Series X was getting revealed near around E3 time, more stuff about it was getting talked about, and they talked about backwards compatibility, and they stated, Resurrecting titles from history often presents a complex mix of technical and licensing challenges, but the team is committed to doing everything we can to continue to preserve our collective gaming legacy. So that's pretty much all we're going to get. I highly doubt Forza Motorsport 4 or any of Microsoft's previous racing games are going to appear on the Xbox One or Xbox Series S slash X because of licensing problems. So what's the next best bet? Well, that's where the PC comes into play. And due to the open nature of the PC platform, you can pretty much do or run anything on it that you want. And that includes emulating games built for certain consoles. And the past couple of years, an emulator called Xenia has popped up for the Xbox 360. Xenia is an emulator that I've been interested in for the past few years, and I've, I've been following it on and off. The progress it has made has been pretty impressive. A game like Forza Motorsport 4 was not even playable back in 2017, but now it actually looks like this. So in this video, I want to show you how you can actually start playing Forza Motorsport 4 on your PC and what does it really look like so far? What are the issues with it and how far can you actually get in the game? What can you do in it, etc, etc. I don't see Xenia brought up often in regards to Forza Motorsport 4 or really as a legit way to play it because, well, while it does have a lot of progress to be made, I think this would interest a lot of people. First thing I want to say is that this is by no means a perfect method. The game has performance issues, there are skybox issues, etc, etc. There is a lot of progress to be made with Xenia. In this video, I'm simply showing how you can get it running, and if you're interested in checking out Xenia's updates and stuff later, then you can download newer versions and see how it runs. So anyways, here's how to start playing Forza Motorsport 4 on your PC. So the only things you're going to need for this tutorial are 1. A working Xbox 360, Two, a copy of Forza Motorsport 4, whether it be digital or disc. In this video, I have a disc, so that's what I'll be using. And three, a USB drive. I recommend uh, probably like an eight gigabyte or larger. And the first thing I recommend doing is actually getting all your files off your USB drive that you want to use for this. The Xbox 360 might want to reformat your USB drive, and that's what it did for me. So I recommend just getting your files off and then plugging your USB drive in, heading over to the system settings in Xbox 360 all the way to the right, and then to storage, and then you may or may not see a drive that says unformatted. Again, make sure all your files are off, and then click the unformatted drive, and then the Xbox 360 will offer to format the drive, and it'll make it in a compatible format. Once all your files are off the USB drive, and you format it, etc., head back into the Xbox 360 home screen, and put in your Forza Motorsport 4 disc. And at the bottom, you'll see that you can press X to view the game details. And then right next to play now, you'll actually see a green install button. Make sure your USB drive is still in your console, and then click install. Wait a few seconds, and you'll see a little dialog box pop up that will actually offer to install Forza Motorsport 4 on the USB drive that you just formatted. Now, this shouldn't take too long of a process, but just wait a few minutes, and it will be done. Next, simply just take out your USB drive from the 360 and put it in your PC. The computer you're doing this with has to be running Windows. You can't play this emulator or do this whole process on a Mac. However, it does say Xenia will be coming soon for Linux. Next, open up File Explorer on your PC and navigate to the USB drive that you installed Forza Motorsport 4 on. You'll see a folder called Content. Next, you'll see a folder with just a bunch of zeros. Head into that folder, and then you'll see two more folders. One will be nearly 7 to 8 gigabytes, which is actually Forza Motorsport 4, and then one will just be a small folder, which doesn't really matter here. You'll see one small file, and then you'll see a folder of actually the same name as the little file. Head to the folder and you'll see this is actually all the data for the game, but this stuff can't be read by any other program, so we're going to need to convert it to an ISO first. Head on to Google and search for God to ISO. The first result you'll see will be on digitex.net. You're going to want to click on this, scroll down a little bit, and then download God to ISO 1.0.4.rar. 
Download this and it'll show up as a RAR file. Make sure you have a 7-zipper WinRAR installed on your PC. And then just open it and extract god to isoexe anywhere you want on your PC. It'll end up working anywhere. After that, open got to iso and you'll see this screen. First up, you're going to want to click add, and this is going to be your folder for the game. Now, head to the folder where you actually extracted the game, and that little file that was the same name as the big folder of all the data in it, you're actually going to want to select that small file. Next up, you'll need an output directory where you want your game iso to go. I simply just created a new folder on my desktop called FM4. Click the go button, and then your game will start converting to an ISO file. Give it a couple minutes, and once you're done, next, you'll need to download the Xenia emulator. Go on to Google and search for X. E N I A. The first result will be for Xenia.jp. You're going to want to click on this, click on the left panel of the website that says download, and then the middle where it says Windows 7 plus x64, click on master. Xenia will show up as a zip file on your PC. You can extract these files anywhere and run the program. Just make sure all three files are in the same folder or directory. Next up, simply start Xenia.exe and then press file, open, and then find the ISO file that you created. Simply double click on this. The game may take a few seconds to start, and then eventually you'll just see FM4 starting like you would on an Xbox 360. Next, you'll just be led into the first race on the Alps, and immediately you can see the tires and a few things are messed up. There's no working skybox, but overall, the game looks mostly like FM4 would on the Xbox 360. Of course, there's graphical issues like the weird giant box shadow, the super, super bright sun, missing detail on the car models, and obviously no skybox. But the game actually runs quite well on Xenia for me at least. It actually runs at 60 FPS sometimes, which may not sound impressive to some people, but considering that this game wasn't even playable in 2017, but is running sometimes at 60 FPS now, at least to me, is really impressive seeing how fast the progress with this emulator has come. The next visual issue you'll see is when actually picking your, your first little city starter car. I picked the VW Fox and yeah, you can see the wheels are pink squares. Luckily, this only happens in the garage and not in races. But now you're free to just do whatever you want in FM4. Check out any of the tracks, any of the cars in free play, stuff like that. And if you're like me and you hate looking at black skyboxes, what's weird is that Silverstone actually has a perfectly fine working skybox, which easily makes it the best looking track in the game on the Xenia emulator. But yeah, that's pretty much how to get Forza Motorsport 4 running with Xenia on your PC. Of course, it's not going to run equally on all PCs. Your specs are going to vary widely, it may crash, it may not even work at all, but so far from my experience, this is what I know to do. I'm not really tech support for everyone, this is only on my system, which in case if you are curious, I'm running an Intel Core i7-6700K, 16GB of DDR4 RAM, and an NVIDIA GTX 1070 card. Even though the game may not look or run perfect, I think it's definitely going to improve in the future, and seeing how big of a community this game had, I really, really hope there is more emphasis to improve the Xenia emulator and improve the playability of Forza Motorsport 4 on the PC. And maybe one day it'll become a standard way to play it like people do with Gran Turismo 4 these days. Hopefully just much smoother than PCSX2. And maybe even in time, there will be a modding community for this game. Kind of like how there are some people who like to mod GT4 on the PC with stuff like hybrid cars. I think in the future we could also see the possibility of online being alive and having an active community again. Because stuff like RPCS3 actually supports Gran Turismo 5 and 6 online play right now. And seeing how fast Xenia is progressing... I really hope it gets online play sometime in the future. So I think Xenia and PC emulation is really all we have for this game now. Now, I would love for it to be playable on the Series S and X at 4K, HDR, 60 FPS, maybe even 120 FPS option, but I really don't think that's happening considering all the licensing. And also especially considering Top Gear and the three hosts on there obviously aren't with the BBC anymore. But I can only dream of Forza 4 running in 4K. Anyways, that's how to play Forza Motorsport 4 on your PC using Xenia. I hope you guys found the tutorial helpful. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you guys later.